welcome friends in this session we are going to show you how to use adjacent group in the matrix you know in the matrix we have three types of group one is parent group one is child group another is adjacent group so basically what are different between or among them so in this case we can say in the parent group you can see here in the parent group you can see here there is a dependency we have a items which are depends on salesperson so in this case salesperson salesperson are the parent for items and the column group there is a region having different year so a year for the region it is a group or uh, we can say the column group so in this case what is adjacent group in the matrix report so uh, adjacent is something like that uh, which is work independently on the report it uh, is uh, not dependent on the other group uh, in the matrix or uh, so what we can do here or we can understand this thing in our matrix report now in our matrix report we have already give the concept of our data like this uh, we are using sales data that is transaction level data region sales person order number order date sales year item number quant order quantity base price sales case so when we are going to use this data in our matrix uh, report then the column group is the sum up the column is the sum of of their cross column and row column so when uh, we are going to show this report you can see here uh, we are showing column value which is dependent on the column group and the row group so, and these group are not working independently so this uh, for example year 2016 is a column group which is dependent on the topmost column group same here in report items is dependent on the sales person so if we want to if we want to add adjacent group in our report what we need to do here in the column group we are going to add a group like parent and child so we have already parent group and child group and we are going to use or so the adjacent group so we are using after so for the after we are using sales year okay and click on okay so now you can see here there is another column sales e uh, year so it is working independently now i am going to show you now in the report you can see here there are two new columns for the year 2016 and 17 so uh, this is the feature or uh, this is the functionality of adjacent group in the matrix for the better look we are merge this adjacent column group here and in the property uh, in the vertical alignment we are using middle now you can preview of the report now you can see here there are two columns 2016 and 2017 they are the example of adjacent group in the matrix report so what we are going to do here we are assigning some values a uh, sales value here sales cash now you can see here yeah 
now you can see here yeah there is no value because for this year there is no sales for these items uh, under this sales person to do uh, some setting here if there is no value we are going to so zero value for the sales so for the sales what we are going to do here in the expression uh, we are using a function iif if equal to zero then we should display zero dot zero zero otherwise default sum up sum up of sales case here okay now we are going to copy this thing for the groups also we need to pass this thing here also expression okay for the adjacent column same thing we are going to do here for the to uh, total grand total okay we are doing this setting for the adjacent groups column okay now you can see here uh, for uh, there are some values right now but there is dollar symbol missing for the dollar symbol in the expression we are going to tax box property and for the number we are using currency and include a space okay same thing we are going to do here also we can do this thing from here also just copy this thing and paste the combined property of the format of these text boxes now preview of the report now you can see here this is the sum up of the year you can see here there are 2016 and for the south india and this is the total year sale this sales is across the regions for the year 2016 for 2017 across the regions there is zero sale sales so it is very easy to implement adjacent column sorry adjacent group in the matrix in ssrs report we can also set some colors for all different color for this kind of activity like this to give some another look okay or we can use another more color functionality from there also okay i am going using this color to give the clear picture okay how the things work in adjacent group in adjacent group you can see here with a different color so hopefully this tutorial is helpful to implement adjacent group functionality in the matrix please subscribe my channel on youtube to 